Hi, Charge Heads. Ralph's going to show us how he basically tests the batteries. I don't get too technical, so I'm going to let him whirl with that and uh, just give everyone an insight to how it all works. I've ordered the batteries from a company called EV Breakers in Northern Ireland, uh, evbreakers.com. Great company, any of that sort of stuff, motors, batteries, anything to do with EVs, go and see him. He's the man to speak to. Batteries have arrived, look at them. Look at these shiny examples. Beautiful. Oh, they're even numbered. But I'd like to know a little bit more about them. I know that they've come out of an MG, the SUV version, and it's 48 kilowatt hour. So these are 44 as standard. Now they will have been used a bit, so we'd expect them to be a little bit less than that, uh, but not a lot less. So well, the important test we've got to do is, well, first of all, we've got to check they're not broken. Yes, they're important. And then we've got to see how good the batteries are. We're only going to do a fairly simple test, we don't want to get too involved with it. Because if we do a full test on them, it takes uh, basically a full day per module. How do we find out if these batteries are broken or not? So there's a couple of things we're going to do. Uh, basically what we're going to do is connect up a load. So this is one of your batteries here. And we've got connections on the positive and on the negative terminal. Okay. And we're connecting that up to a load. So this is a precisely made high power resistor. Yep. Quite a large one. Are you we're... bragging again? Yeah, I've got a huge one. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to measure the voltage before, during and after connecting that load up. Right. And that tells us several things. So one of the things we can do is when we first connect the load, the battery voltage will drop very slightly. And that drop is due to the internal resistance of the battery itself. Yeah. So every battery has a certain amount of internal resistance. And as the battery ages, that gets bigger. Okay. It's also affected by things like temperature and uh, all, all sorts of other factors as well. So you yeah. have to be a little bit careful. It's not quite as simple as it seems. And is that why we get less range on our uh, electric cars in the winter, basically? It's one of for the these. Reasons, yeah. So when we connect the load, we'll see the voltage go down. And that voltage drop, if we divide that by the current that it's sinking. Okay. That's basic Ohm's law. Voltage divided by current tells you resistance. And what we're hoping is that we get less than 10 milliohms, 10 thousandths of an ohm right. resistance out of, your, out of your batteries. If they're above about 15 milliohms, then they're quite suspect. Ah, okay. And you've pointed to these devices here. So we've got the voltmeter. So we've got a voltmeter and we've got a current clamp. Now, okay. these are backups. Right. What we're actually measuring it with is uh, this. It's on a... Uh, an oscilloscope up there, a picoscope, and then we can actually measure the output so we can get traces like that and work out all sorts of funky things. Okay. Uh, so these are kind of a backup. Okay. Take me th so uh, take me through what these these do. Uh, yep, that's the BMS. So this is for the, the donor car, so we probably won't use these on yours. So that's the BMS, the master BMS. Yeah. Uh, and this block here has got the contactors in it that switch the battery on and off. Right. So you've got your pre-charge resistor, your pre-charge contactor, uh, your main positive contactor, your negative contactor, and an additional contactor for the auxiliary uh, services. Right. So it's a nice little circuit board, that, so we might use that in your TVR, but in a different housing. Okay. Because we don't need all of this other stuff. Right. Okay. One of the important things that all the batteries have is this bit. So right. this is a little current sensor. Yeah on the negative input to there. And what the current sensor does is it actually checks how much current's coming out of the battery. And this is a really important safety check that the battery management does. So the vehicle knows how much power it's asked the motor to deliver, how much power it's asked the interior heater to deliver, the air conditioning pump. So it knows how much current should be coming out of the battery. If what the battery management system is measuring is more current coming out than the car is using, yeah. then it must be going somewhere where it shouldn't. Ah. And that's a bad thing. Yes. So the current uh, meter is a really, really important safety device. And the software in the BMS actually works out whether there's excessive current going out. And if there is, it will uh, start to shut down the vehicle. For right. Safety. Yes. And once all the loads have been taken off, it will then open the contactors and isolate the battery from the vehicle. It's a really important piece of safety software. And we're going to make sure what we implement on your TVR does exactly the same thing. Yes. Safety is key, especially when... I've got anything to do with it. <laughs> it's a TVR, it's the safest car in the world. Absolutely. Hmm. 
Right, so let's uh, start probing your modules. Oh. Your, pardon the expression. Um, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the, the voltage meter. Yep. And we can see. So at the moment, this particular module's uh, 22.5253, and it's this low end here, the decimal points that are really important in this case. Right. Because we're only co connecting a fairly small load, so it's not going to change much. Um, I'm also logging the data on the computer. Yeah, uh, so you record, you're recording as you go, basically. I'm also going to, as a bit of a backup, check the current going out of there. Okay. And is that to basically marry it up to the computer just to just double, double check? check yeah. So then I'm going to connect up the, um, the load. It's not a massive load, so it's not going to make a huge difference. But when I do, we'll see that voltage there start to change. So at the moment, we're at 22.53. Connect that on. You see that's dropped down. They went from 5.3 to 5.1. So we've dropped two, uh, 20 millivolts straight away. We're logging the data and we'll see how that, that voltage continues to drop. We're pulling about three amps. Okay. So not a massive load, No. but it gives us a fair idea of what's going. That initial drop we can use to get a very rough idea of the internal resistance of the battery. Um, so we dropped uh, about uh, 30 millivolts. So if we do a quick calculation, 0 0.03 of a volt divided by the current, So we're looking at about 10 milliohms. Right. So that's all right. Okay. That's not horrific. It's not broken. It's not broken. Fantastic. And bear in mind, we're on the lowest um, digits on this meter here. So we're on the limits of the accuracy. Yeah. So that could actually be lower than that. What I'll do um, with your other cells and what I did yesterday when they came in is I connected a, a higher power load. Okay. Um, but that's, uh, that's more complicated to do because we have to use some uh, contactors and stuff because otherwise you get a, a spark from where you connect it. I can imagine. And what sort of load did you put for it then? So then we were pulling 20 amps out of it. Okay. Um, so that just basically gives us um, a significantly higher volt drop and it makes the whole uh, data more accurate. Right. Um, but there's, there's more involved with that because there's some safety issues and stuff like that. So yeah. it's not the sort of thing I get people to do at home. So Ralph has disconnected the load and we're going to have a look at the computer to see what the results are. So what we're looking at, this is where, before we connected the load, yeah. and you see the voltage fluctuations are very, very small. So this is this tiny amount of voltage difference. Yeah. Then when I connected the load, the voltage dropped down to this sort of value. So the difference between this sort of value yeah. And this sort of value um, tells us the volt drop due to the internal resistance of the battery. Okay. Uh, and that again comes out at about uh, 9 uh, milliohms. So it's in reasonably good state of health. Awesome. No, thanks for showing us that.